Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to introduce to you guys a new API from NGRX Slice. And this API is Entity. So as the name suggested, um, Slice Entity is similar to NGRX Entity. As a matter of fact, I just ported from NGRX Entity over to Slice Entity. Um, however, Slice Entity works with Immer. So it works. Um, it allows you to just mutate state instead of having to return a new state or reassign the new state from the entity methods. So I expect you to, I mean, understand NGRX and maybe NGRX entity um, before diving into NGRX slice entity. Uh, the uh, documentation is available in. Um, NGRX slice netlify.app. So I'm going to link uh, in the description down below the link to the documentation. Uh, you can read about Envy and you can play with it a little bit here. Um, to demo this feature, I'm going to use the to do MVC application. So, this to do application was originally written uh, using NGRX. I migrated it to use NGRX slice. Again, I recorded that video, so I'm going to link that uh, down below in the description as well. Alright, so today I'm going to be using NGRX Slice along with the NGRX Slice Entity. So, let's get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to need is to go to package.json and update or install NGRX Slice. And the version is 3.0. With that, now we're gonna go back to the slice.ts and you can see that this is a to-do slice that manages the to-do state. And we used create slice from NGRX slice. Right, the first thing is we're going to import from NGRX slice slash entity and the function is create slice entity adapter. Uh, next, we're going to just remove uh, the to-do state interface and the initial state because now we're going to use the entity or the entity adapter to manage the state and also the typing of our slice. So we have a to-do adapter is equal to create slice entity adapter and we're going to pass in the type of the entity which is a to-do. So now we have the to-do adapter here. Um, now the initial state is gonna scream at you, and we can we can do to do adapter dot get initial state. Now this initial state does not have the loading state, but we can always pass in additional state to get initial state, and we can pass in the loading false. Now initial state will have the type of entity state of to do, and also the loading of boolean. Right next, we're gonna have to migrate all of our reducers to use to do uh, to do entity adapter. All right for add, we're gonna just grab the new to do here. All right, and we can call to do adapter dot state uh, dot add one. Pass in the state, and then we pass in that new to do or new entity. And you can see that we don't we don't have to reassign. Um, value here and we don't have to return anything now because the uh, the methods on the slice entity are rent with immer um, under the hood so it just update or mutate the state right moving on uh, for load trigger we don't have to change anything here just uh, mutate the loading directly and next is uh, low success so low success is we take the to do's from the action payload and we set that to the to do's on the store on this slice so it's just to do adapter dot set all and state action dot to do's all right so we set all of the to do's on the state using action dot to do's uh, next we have toggle so toggle is we toggling the completed uh, flag on each uh, to do so it's going to be update and it is to do adapter dot update one and we pass in a state as usual and update one takes in an object 
and this is saying what do you want to update and um, uh, what the key of the entity do you want to update by so we have the action ID we want to update this the entity with this ID uh, and the changes that's going to happen with this update um, we want to toggle the completed so we want to change the completed what we want to change to so we want to change to negate of the state of entities at this action dot id dot completed right so this is saying i want to toggle i want to negate uh that the opposite one the opposite of the current entity at this id completed flag so it's just negated so that's toggling uh for delete uh for delete we can always do this it's going to be to do adapter dot remove one right and passing the state and it's going to be the key uh, of um, what action dot id or just action dot id um, uh, just like that you, know, uh, you can you can do that or you can actually just use remove one and use that as a case reducer right so you don't have to repeat uh, that uh, case reducer function uh, same thing with update we can just use to do adapter dot update one right. so this is one nice thing about the slice entity is that it it is compatible with the case reducer All right for clear completed clear completed is um, basically we remove everything that has been completed so is it, it is uh, remove many so we have to do adapter dot remove many state and what do we want to remove like is going to be a list an array of ids of things we want to remove so to get that we can do state dot ids right this is an array of ids that the entity state gives you we want to grab all the ids all the ids that is completed all right so we have that all the ids that have been completed and finally the uh, set filter stays the same Right now we're gonna have to fix the selectors a little bit. <clears throat> now we can uh, do is we grab the selectors from to do adapter. So I call it to do adap uh, adapter selectors. To do adapter uh, get selectors. And what we want to is we want to pass in uh, the feature state of this slice. So if you if you um, remember that NGX slice generates the selectors for you so under selectors we have select to do state so this is again as a reminder is the same as create feature selector right of to do right so we're gonna we're gonna use this selector and we're gonna pass that into forget selector this is now uh, selector and now the, the the selectors from adapters are gonna be based from the state instead of the root state so it's going to be based off of state dot to do instead of just state All right, so <clears throat> and because now we have this we could just change all of these selectors so select to do's is previously select all the to do's so now we can do that from the adapter selectors so adapter selectors dot select all so that's it. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the rest. Select to do. It's gonna be to do adapter. Now I select all. And select total to dos. Where did this come from? Oh, we don't need this anymore. <laughs> we we don't really need this because uh, adapter selectors um, expose a select total um, selectors. So we can remove that and let's fix this with to do adapter selectors dot select total. Yes, it is the same thing, but again, we don't have to create uh, a dedicated variable for it. Uh, select to do same thing here to do adapter selectors dot select all. Um, incomplete same thing. I'll just copy this for now. That. Right, and we don't need to expose that uh, on the selectors. Uh, we use 
select loading. So we're just going to grab that select loading and save. So now our slice has been migrated over to use to do adapter uh, or entity state with the initial state and the to do adapter method. Right? And this is uh, one of the highlights is that the entity methods are compatible with case reducers. So you can just pass the reference of these in and and it will still generate the, uh, the actions graders correctly. Right, now we're gonna uh, change or we're gonna fix the component. Uh, in the component, all the selectors stay the same because uh, again, we don't really change much. We change the implementation details. We don't change uh, the, uh, the surface API except for two actions. So you remember the update and the delete. We use the entity methods directly so now um, it has to confirm to that type. Uh, first, for the update, update takes in an, an object with the update uh, key. Right in the update key again, there's that ID. I want to update this entity with this ID, and of course the change will have text and event text. Right, so that's the update for the uh, for the uh, delete is going to be key key and ID and save and everything has been migrated over to entity slice now we go back to the application and everything should still work nice entity slice right everything still works I'm gonna update this one to update it and you was and you click on the action you will see that the payload is the update type um, so your entity method just uh, just being used as as the action creator uh, same thing with delete if I say delete is going to be the key instead of the ID so this has been um, create sliced entity adapter it is exposed or exported from NGX slice slash entity. Thank you.